What's up guys, it's Christine from Created by Christine and today I'm showing you how to print on envelopes to make them custom to whatever event or business that you have. I love using custom envelopes for my sticker shop, for my sticker orders because um, I mean really all you need is an envelope to ship stickers but on top of that instead of just making it plain old envelope make it exciting like happy things inside and having my name on it too all you're gonna need is envelopes I like the craft envelopes I also like that they have self-seal envelopes right here um, that you can just like rip apart and also need a printer I'm using an inkjet printer, it's a Canon Pixma printer, and that's kind of it. So as long as your printer has ink and you have envelopes, um, you're ready to go. I'll show you an example of setting up a design. It's really easy, you can use any platform like Canva. First, I'm setting the design up with the size, which is 5 by 7 inches, because that's the size of the envelope. And you can imagine that this blank canvas is the envelope. So like the top part is like the flap, if you're looking at the back of the envelope. Obviously, the design part is totally free and up to you, but I'm just going to write happy things inside and just give you an idea of where the placement could go and like how you could style it so i'm typing out happy things inside and i'm putting it at the top because like i was saying before just imagine that this is the back of the envelope and it's the back flap when you're satisfied with your design you can save it as a png file to get ready for printing now that i have the file downloaded i can print it i opened it up in my preview on my macbook and I am selecting my printer first, which I mentioned before. It's my inkjet printer, the Canon Pixma printer. And with the settings, I have to choose the paper size, which is not the US letter. It's the 5x7 borderless, and this will make sure that it prints the appropriate size. The last setting I need to adjust is the output setting, where the paper is going to feed from. So for my printer, it goes through the back and so I have to select rear tray in order for the printer to know to pull the paper from the back. All right now, so we are putting the envelopes into the rear tray of the printer. And to be honest, I couldn't tell you which way it goes, but I had to figure it out trial and error and get it wrong a couple times in order to get it right. So if you have a different printer, you're just going to have to experiment it and see which way it goes. And yes, I've printed it upside down many, many times, but not anymore. <laughs> From here on out, the process is really easy because I basically just keep replenishing the envelopes in the rear tray so that it, you know, just keeps going. Because I think I'd only put in like maybe 10 to 15 envelopes at a time that'll fit back there. People might say, like, why would you go through all this effort making these custom printed envelopes? People just rip them open and they throw them out into the garbage right when they get them anyway. But I believe that first impressions are really important. And when you receive the envelope and you hold it in your hands and you're looking at it, it's like the branding. It's like what what makes like what evokes emotion and I think that just seeing like something positive and just like cute little doodles and illustrations that's exciting and that's memorable so yeah I absolutely do expect people to throw it out please don't keep it <laughs> it's been through the USPS that's the fun part though just like receiving happy mail and it's the excitement and the memory that and to be honest i don't use envelopes as much anymore because some of my products require like mailers or boxes but 
I think that I will keep printing my own envelopes for a while like I don't think I need to like outsource it or anything because I just like set it and forget it except for replenishing the envelopes in the rear tray but like besides that it's pretty automated and I can go and walk away and do stuff and just check in from time to time. I can even work on my iPad and get some designs going. Here I was making a greeting card design and yeah I like multitasking, I like feeling productive that I can like do two things at once. Okay. It's pretty simple, it's pretty quick, especially once you have your file and once you have the routine down, you can make it all the time, close your eyes and make it. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know what other tutorials you wanna see because I'm happy to share. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.